hey, thanks for making it to day number eight of the nine days of Castmas. If you guys have made it to every single one of these videos, drop a little holiday emoji in the comments down below. I have had so much fun with this challenge, so much more than I thought I would, so much more than I thought I could, and oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did do a little nasty in the microphone. I'm so sorry. Not only does Baby Cheeseburger have hiccups right now, obviously, mom... <laughs> and baby are two of the same or one of the same because we're both over here just burping it up. But anyways, um, yeah, this challenge has been just absolutely phenomenal. I highly suggest that you give it a try. Anyways, this sim today is technically our last sim to make over. We have day number nine, obviously marking the ninth day of Castmas, where I can create a sim of my choosing. The only issue is, is I don't know what sim to choose. I feel like we have made over every type of sim, created every type of personality. We have just done the things. And so I'm going to solicit your all's help for that one. And I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But let me dive in to our sim for today. Her name is Lila McQueen. I did make some some minor tweaks, minor changes. Initially, she was a brunette, but she still is. She's a natural brunette at heart, but because she is in the pursuit of fame and wanting to stand out and just, you know, I don't know. She just she, she wants to be a socialite. She decided to dye her hair platinum blonde and it may or may have not fried her long and beautiful brown locks. So she went with this very chic blunt cut and I'm here for it. Also the facial moles, they might look, they might look real, but they're not organic. <laughs> they're actually um, put on by uh, some liquid, some liquid, you know, eyeliner and it's fine. We're not judging. And then I also decided to kind of give her like this old Hollywood vibe and lighten up her eyebrows as well. I actually love the way that she turned out and for her traits, she is materialistic, uh, she is self-assured, and then initially she was um, loyal. And did I mention she wants to become a, like a master actress? I probably didn't, but that's her aspiration. So for the loyal trait, I decided to switch it up a little bit because I didn't feel like Lila was loyal at all. I feel like she would have no hesitation to stab you in the back if it meant she was one step closer to fame. So I actually decided to give her the erratic trait and it's just a trait I don't really get to play with very often, but I also thought it suit her very well because of, you know, just who she is and who I envision her to be. And yeah, so let me tell you about Lila and give you her backstory so that we can kind of piece the bits of the puzzle together. Lila McQueen, or so she goes by, currently lives in a small studio in Del Sol Valley. Living beyond her means, she so, she so desperately wants to live the life of the rich and famous. She'll do anything to have her name in the tabloids and her palms embedded in the starlight, starlight walk of fame. Lila Swears if it was only 1970, she'd be the biggest success this town has ever seen. However, things aren't going well for her. She's behind on rent, she can barely afford to eat, and her expensive taste has led her in a hole her measly commercial gigs can't even get her out of. Hopefully, Lila's luck changes and it changes soon. All of this stress is just too much for one sim to bear. And then I put in like little I don't know, astrotics, astrotisks, <laughs> dramatic sigh, because I envision Lila telling her story-ish, kind of. Maybe she wouldn't have bared her cool like that and told y'all her financial business, but I feel like Lila is a sim who is definitely trying to keep up with the Joneses. She is living beyond her means, on the outside looking in. She looks like she is wealthy, successful, and everything in between, whereas the cracks really do show, you know? I mean, I, I definitely feel like she is struggling to stay on top of her career. She is struggling to even <laughs> create a career, it sounds like. And it would really be a lot of fun to kind of watch her start from the bottom and maybe reach it to the top. Or maybe she just destroys her career altogether by chasing that fame, by putting her name in the tabloids. I would love to see what type of trouble she would get in doing that. I feel like she'd be so much fun 
fun to play with because it's not necessarily a dynamic that I play with. And that was kind of my mission for all of these Sims is to create Sims and characters that I normally wouldn't play with, storylines that I, I, again, wouldn't normally see through. And I feel like I've done a pretty good job at that. Like, I am so in love with each and every one of these Sims. And Lila, she just seems like she'd be surrounded also by a bunch of Sphinx cats, like the little naked hairless cats. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like a thought that came to head came to head <laughs> sure we'll go with it um but also her wardrobe is very like you know kind of like a you know polished and her her theme she loves black and red as you guys can clearly see she wears like a lot of secondhand kind of thrifted clothes but also she's you know a sucker for you know versace and gucci and all those like finer things but particularly vintage i feel like i get like i feel like <laughs> okay i feel like i said earlier she has a very expensive taste and it shows the only thing is is it's wearing a hole in her pocket which is completely and utterly unfortunate but i am curious I wonder what her biological name is. Oh, apparently it was Lila Carmichael, but then she changed it to uh, Lila McQueen. I wonder why that is. Like, I wonder what made her change her name and why she's so gung-ho on concealing her true identity. Like, it kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Since technically we've completed the challenge, at least making over the base sims, I wanted to take a moment to reflect on who it is we created and to ask you guys which sim out of these eight are your personal favorite and also to ask y'all for a little bit of help because technically we have one more sim to go and that is a sim that I'm able to create. I have free reign of whom it is I want to create. The only issue is is I'm a little I'm a little stuck. I feel like we've made every single sim there is. So I'm gonna ask y'all for your help. Give me some ideas as to who we can create. They can complement these eight sims. They can be completely different. It's up to you but I just I'm needing I'm needing a little bit of uh guidance here so our day one sim was kellen hughes he is the cuddly bookworm i absolutely love him day number two is josie armstrong she was the girl that is literally obsessed with plants then we have dax danger the aspiring artiste that lives in santa my shoe now who is looking for their soulmates and then we have mackenzie mcguire my beautiful little sunflower and is trying to make her late father proud because ever since she was a little girl, he always thought she would be some sort of, you know, sensation, some sort of success. And so she's definitely struggling a lot, I will say, <laughs> uh, with becoming a famous country singer. But I think I want to play with her. I don't know. I really do. I really, really do. I feel like we would have a lot of fun just doing like a little mini series with her. But anyway, moving on to Akeem Cartwright. He seemed to be a fan favorite. I really love love him. There is something so gentle about the gaze in his eyes. Even though he does have this non-committal tree, I don't think that takes away from his character at all. I actually think it makes him more mysterious and intriguing, and I kind of almost want to get down to the bottom of that. Like, what makes Akeem not want to commit? Like, what is it? Like, what is driving that fear? Then we have Amora Bishop. She is my <laughs> bitter substitute teacher who literally has a gripe with love or most importantly her ex-fiance but still really wants to become a mom but lord knows she just needs to lighten up a little bit because her her chonies are just wound a little too tight but I guess you know that's what being in a relationship with an unfaithful partner will do to you but she seems really interesting to play with as well and then we have a Kate Felton he is my little my little spoiled rich boy who is trying to uh you know just kind of float through life a little bit he has high expectations coming in from his parents to live up to the Felton name so yeah he wants to academically <laughs> succeed but all of his traits say kind of otherwise even though he does he, he is a little bit of a, a little a bit of a snob um he was really lazy and a bit of a party animal and that kind of like you know obviously affects his studies and then last but not least we have the lila mcqueen she currently resides in del sol valley i already told you guys about her so i really don't think i need to add anything else there but yeah let me know in the comments down below which one of these eight are your favorites i definitely think mackenzie mcguire is like my number one and then coming in at a close second 
absolutely has to be Akeem. And I really like Mora and uh, Lila as well. But do keep in mind, all of these Sims are completely CC free and available on the gallery at Janet2606. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Maybe I was confused, or did you feel it too? In that room, it suddenly just felt like it was me and you. Cause I forgot about your friend, what's his name again? I really can't recall a single thing of what he said to me. It was just like waking up from a fever dream.